We're Jack and Tracy, an Aussie and Canadian who, after living the nine to five life on the Gold Coast in Australia, decided to renovate a bus. Oh, wow! Pack up our apartment. Moving day! And move in to experience life <laughs> on the road full time. Join us through the ups and downs as we explore our way around this beautiful country. Hold on, what's the recording specs? Sorry. Here we go. <laughs> Put a shirt on. <coughs> oh, this feels weird. <laughs> So we have been living in our Mazda T3500 bus um, for the last seven weeks and we've come to the point where we just kind of want to document anything and everything and really bring you along for the ride. Yeah, so jump on. We're about to head out over to Yamba, which is just south of where we are. We've been hanging in a place called Iluka the last couple of days. Yeah. Bit of surfing, bit of chilling. Uh, but we're gonna hit the road. We want to bring you with us. Uh, we're gonna have like a picnic today Yeah, we're gonna do just a bunch of kind of fun stuff Maybe just show you some things that we get up to um, for the next couple of days Just kind of to give people an idea of bus living and how we kind of live day to day living this lifestyle And yeah, it's gonna be really fun. Okay, let's hit the road <laughs> So, we've gotten to destination one, which is the most important. It is the grocery store and the bottle oil. <laughs> Parking this thing. Parking a bus. Most Always a good time. Okay. Will he make it work? Ooh, that, is... that lady with the trolley just looked at me like, what the hell do you think you're doing? You're not local. You've got to be kidding me. What have we got here? This is a big deal. Yeah, I love vegan nuggets. Way to go, Pizza Hut. I missed a big year of French onion. French onion, I reckon. I think it is from Tofurky. Veggie ship, half price. Yeah. This is seriously my life at the grocery store every time. Just following this you one. I have no idea what you're doing if you were in here by yourself. Well, that's true, I don't know my way around a grocery store anymore. All I know how to do is hold a basket. We need chickpeas. Can we pass that on? Uh, I don't know. Um, let's leave the bottle. Oh yeah, baby! Is this what you do? We can get those ones, I know you like those ones. Decision made. Boom. Oh, see, she fits in the car park all right. And now this is where the fun of living in a bus begins, of trying to fit everything that you just bought into your tiny fridge. Unless you have a full fridge, then you're very lucky. But we just have a little halfy one down here that now I need to play Jenga with, or Tetris, to try to figure out how to unpack. That's a wrap. Can I get you to help me back out oh, here? Yeah, sure. I'm actually going to say that this is going to be the best picnic spot you've ever seen. Ever. Look like such a beach dad. Oh. <laughs> How lucky am I? <laughs> we have arrived we... in paradise. So we just blew up this epic effing floaty and I could hear like a little sound coming out of it 
And Jack is like, oh, that's for sure a grasshopper or a cricket. I'm like, yeah. no, that is air. <laughs> Man, like I don't even know. If, it's the tiniest little hole too. I'm gonna go get the tight. Come on. So for lunch, we have been loving eating wraps lately just because it's super easy. You don't have to spend a bunch of time cooking or anything, especially when you want to be outside in places like this. Um, so we just have some wholemeal wraps that we put some avocado today, cucumber, tomatoes, just some blackberries that we're snacking on, um, a little bit of this beetroot slaw mix, um, some spinach, and then we add chickpeas to it. Um, and then I always add hot sauce and everything and this is actually an accidentally um, vegan mayonnaise I don't think that a lot of people know that this one is vegan um, But if you read the back it says suitable for vegans, but it isn't marketed at all like on the front packaging so Good hack if you're over in Australia shopping at like Woolies or Coles or anything. I don't know if this brand is overseas um, But yeah, that's some beautiful patchwork you've got there Use this. <laughs> Please. No, we're dying to get over into that water, but we're so hungry. We want to eat something first. And this is what it ends up looking like. Yummy. So it was a huge fail. It's Look at it. pretty much like a pillow. Oh, <laughs> so rock, paper, scissors. Who, got two more floaties who the goes bus. back to the bus in this hot ass weather and does the walk all the way back up there I mean, to go I've, get the floaties? I've already been up there. Ah, yes. <laughs> I wore the tiniest bit of makeup today, just mainly because I was like, wow, I haven't been on YouTube in freaking a long time. But yeah, literally, I think I've worn makeup on this trip like maybe three times total. Done my hair once, and it was a waste of time. Everything melts off. But yeah, I'm just waiting for Jack to get back so we can blow up those floaties so we can get into the water. And round two with the floaties. So now that camp looks like a bit of a sh shambles. I'm trying to put my shorts on. <laughs> and we've had a nice little swim. Uh, we're going to take you over to the other side because that's where like the big rock jumps are and it's just a cool another little water hole. So how can we uh, pack up, roll around there? Get, get a... <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely time to go. Oh my freaking goodness. <laughs> she was not one with the wind. <laughs> What would you call this, Jack? A pond or uh, a, well, they're called a the, dam? The Angari Blue and Green Pools. They're fresh water, but I got told once that they were um, they were old quarries and the machines are still under there. An so, old quarry, you see. <laughs> so I'm going to go up there and um, get a jump in. And then we'll scat. <laughs> So fun. that little scream you let out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go enjoy the beautiful sunset for this picnic. Back in the bus, um, we just got everything all packed up, ready to move it. The weather got just really hectically gross. It's too windy to even just sit outside. I feel like our whole picnic would just blow away. <laughs> yeah. Um, so our plan is to go make sure we definitely have a spot that we can stealth camp at tonight. Let's Off go find a go. spot. <laughs> We 
we found a spot tonight to stealth camp at, which is always tricky in the big old yellow bus. <laughs> Going to make up a little charcuterie board and just have a night in with some beverages and some snacks and play some games. So I'm gonna whip that up now and I'll show you what we put on it. Whoa, you catch that lighting behind you just then? Cracker. <laughs> and then we're gonna get a bit of the tofurkey. What do you call this cracker? Your mom. Mm -hmm. Got a bit of cheese. We're gonna get a little bit of the char grilled capsicum. And chip, that's for you, sir. Oh my. Should I put a fork in you? Are you done? <laughs> <laughs> more like, if I feel like it's more like. Well, that little it's bloody chip good was. anyway. <laughs> that was so good, babe. Thank you. Morning! So that is the fun routine that happens daily every time we wake up somewhere and yeah, we've done the sneaky so you've got to sort of get out of there early. Uh, we've just pulled up to a spot called Spooky Beach. So I'm just going to check to see if there's any surf around here this morning. Trace has just popped to the bathroom. Takes her a while to join the front seat sometimes when we move in the morning. Usually she just stays back in bed while, while I drive off. Ooh, there could be a little wave over there. Come on, mate, how are you? Let's have a look. So as you might have seen, that was looking a little bit sad, so I don't know if we're gonna get a wave in here. Oh. Babe? <laughs> What's doing? I don't think there's any waves here. So I might drive around and have a look at another spot. Sound good? <laughs> Sound good? Stop filming me! <laughs> the, the surf is no better anywhere else either. So, come back to this spot. Gonna try get a wave. Why not? Let's get wet. Let's jump in. Let's see what happens. Seven foot six. Little mini mal and it's gonna be... Ooh! Oh, there's a wave! I think I rode more, more of those waves on my bum. 
Might pack up shop, put the board away. I think Chase is up there having a workout. Catch up with you a little bit later. We're going to roll out of here soon. Hello, hello. It's been a little while. Um, just wanted to kind of fill you in on what we've been doing the last couple of days. We've just like did some workouts. Jack went for a surf. I kind of got some computer stuff done today. I had to do a bunch of mechanical work, uh, yeah. which blew out to something a little longer, but that's okay. Yeah, it's good now. times. Tonight is actually Friday night. Let's just get a friggin' pizza. So we're just gonna go head out to the pub tonight to actually get some live music. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's go. Also, side note, I curled my hair today using our inverter and also blow dried it a tad because I just couldn't be bothered to just chill out in the sun waiting for it to dry. But holy moly, you don't realize how shit of a job you are washing your hair when you're trying to really rush in a beach shower. So I feel like I have some little greasy bits, but honestly, I haven't had my hair like this in like seven weeks and this is how I usually wear it and I just feel like a whole other vibe at the moment and i'm really excited that i was able to actually use those hair tools in the bus thanks to jack so thanks jack so we just got to this little park area um in yamba on the lookout on the hill um, we just have a little picnic blanket set out and this is the view that we're looking at at the moment so pretty. Got some good old garlic bread. Got a vegan veggie pizza and some of those vegan nuggets. I might send that drone up real quick so you get a good look at this spot because it is pretty. Are you okay? It's literally just staring at us over there. Yeah, so anyway, I think Jack was just a little bit distracted. There was some high trees and it was getting a bit dark because we were filming some sunset footage. And it just got caught in probably the tallest tree in the whole oh. park. You want to get another one? Yeah, okay, babe, we need it. Like, yes, we need another one. Maybe we should um, change into black and wear that to the pub <laughs> and get some fireball shots or Jaeger bombs and just rave all night for uh, for that little guy. <laughs> oh my god. What do you feel like doing, babe? Uh... Just sit with our backs to it and look at it in the viewfinder <laughs> between us. Oh my god. And here we are, just drowning our poor little sorrows away. Today is a new day. We thought we'd be leaving for Coffs Harbour today, but we started a little slow. Just had a little bit of a walk around Yamba this morning, just like the town and had brekkie and, and all that jazz. And now, most of today, it's just gonna be yeah, researching uh, where and how I'm going to get a, uh, another drone. I really wanted to climb that tree that I got stuck in, but Trace is not having it at all. It is a very high tree, but I think Trace would actually kill me. Oh, I just feel so stupid. That's all right. Unfortunately, we can't get the Mavic Pro. Yeah, no. Now the Pro Two or the Pro Three. 
Yeah. You don't happen to hold or can order in Mavic Pros? I wouldn't get your hopes up because it's only showing up one unit. That's Harvey Norman Tweet Head and Harvey Norman Bondi Junction. I'm just wondering if you're holding any Mavic Pros. I've got everything I need bar the drone. The drone is in a tree. Oh, we don't sell any Pros anymore. Just um, the Mavic 2 Pro. And how much are you selling those for? $2,500. Yeah, okay. Okay, so another morning. We are in Lennox, and I tell you what, Lennox isn't all that welcoming, I feel, it's not our favourite place, at least when you're in a big yellow bus, uh, sleeping on the side of the street. But we've just pulled up this morning after our stealth sleep. We're by a big tea tree lake, which is pretty cool to hang out at. We're hopefully maybe an hour off going to meet up with old mate who has the Mavic Pro. We'll pick this thing up, we'll hit the road, <laughs> we'll keep going on this journey. Picked it up off a guy named Ted. He was a legend. Uh, and the drone, I just took it for a test fly. She's all good. He was a real dude. Like, he gave me this whole camera bag with it as well. So that was a good score. But here we go. This one works. And this one will not end up in a tree. Hey, babe. Yeah, she's stoked about it. Anyway, we're back on track, thank God. We have made it to a beautiful campsite where we are stress-free now. To a place called Red Rock. We're not at Red Rock. <laughs> oh, Red Cliff. Red Cliff. It's been a big week. Uh, we're gonna chill out at this beautiful camp spot for the next couple of nights. 40 years. Yeah. <laughs> it's a national park, there's kangaroos everywhere, we're on the beach, we've got space, the ranger just dropped us some firewood. What up? <laughs> we paid for the firewood, he wasn't. <laughs> oh, he's trying to make him sound like a great guy. Oh, think again. Anyway. No uh, such thing as a free lunch. Uh, Alright. If you enjoyed the video or you do want to see more, definitely feel free to hit subscribe or press the like button just to let us know how you enjoyed it. Or if you didn't. <laughs> if you didn't, give it a big thumbs down. <laughs> we'll never make a video again. Uh, bye!